The four legislators were in Tarakanithi County where they resolved to form a team that will unite all the marginalized communities and form a formidable team that will make a difference in the coming polls. The MPs argue that small tribes like the Daraka, Mbere, Vegoni, Teso, Kuria and Marquets, though comprising 9% of the Kenyan population, have not prominently featured in the national politics. The MPs say they will now unite the small tribes with the view of making their voices heard and respected by those who may form the next government. Good luck to them. Waendele kufanya kazi yao lakini wazisahau sisi. Kukiwa kuna mikata, mikutano ya usiku tuitwe huko. Kwa sababu we have almost 3 million 3 million votes. Na inaonekana kutakuwa na second round. Na kule sisi tulikuwa tunaitwa wale watu hawajai gorogoro. Yaani ukipima haijai gorogoro kwa hivyo hatu kukuwa na maana. Na sasa uchukue ila ijai gorogoro kwa marakwet kidogo, uchukue ya taraka, si tutajia gorogoro. Tuwe wachache, tuna haki zetu kwa katiba ndani ya katiba. Tuna haki zetu, tukiwa viumbe wa mungu. Hata tuwa wadogo kama sisimizi na shafu, tuweza kumuangusha tembo. Meanwhile, two legislators from the northeastern region have launched campaigns to popularize TNA party in the region as well as the presidential bid of Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta. North Hor MP Chachuganya and his Lesami's counterpart Joseph Lekuton held rallies in Marsabit and Moyale counties calling on the residents to preach peace. The MPs also asked the local communities to choose their leaders wisely and gauge their development track record. Badia makamsini, badia uhuru tumepewa shirikali yetu county ya Marsabit. Mwele itajengwa kama kawaida. Nodori vile vile, laisemi vile vile, na sako vile vile. Tumerudi pamoja tujenge taifa la Kenya na tujenge county yetu, tikuwa na serikali yetu. Mambo ya barabara tutangeneza, hiyo si challenge. The challenge, the most challenging issue is peace. And in Nairobi County, the chairman of the Nairobi Central Business District Association, Timothy Morioki, who is aspiring to be the first governor of Nairobi County, has promised to transform the city into a 24-hour working economy once elected. Morioki, who held a 10,000 shilling per plate dinner at a Nairobi hotel to fund his campaigns, said he's determined to fight corruption in all institutions as well as initiate an efficient transport system in the city. Morioki is vying for the position on a TNA party ticket. The people of Nairobi deserve a better healthcare system. Better schools for the children will guarantee all kids a better education and better chances to further their education and careers. Local Samburu leaders have cautioned politicians against inciting the Samburus and Trukana communities after the killing of 40 police officers in Baragoi during the weekend. Speaking at a media briefing, the leaders led by Samburu East County representative aspirant Rebecca Lolosoli said that politicians should stop terming the Suguta massacre a political affair. Meanwhile, the National Alliance Party has called for the dissolution of small political parties that wish to support Uhuru Kenyatta's presidential bid. TNA Secretary General Onyango Olo says that the party is looking forward to forming the next government owing to the support it was getting from Kenyans and political leaders from across the country. Speaking at a TNA aspirants meeting held at Old Kalao Town in Nyandarua County, the Secretary General said it was necessary to encourage Kenyans to register as voters to enable them exercise the constitutional right of choosing their leaders. Chris Dairu, Citizen at One.